We are back with more of my Southern home and I'm here with Michael Schuler with Schuler Homes. Michael, thank you so much for bringing us out to the Crystal Springs development today. Happy to be here. Thanks for having us. So we are in your model home here in the development and you were telling me that this is your most popular floor plan here. Yes, this is our Jackson floor plan. It features three beds and two baths on the main floor, an additional fourth bedroom and third bath in the finished basement. People love this plan for a lot of reasons. One of it is the split bedroom design where the master suite sits behind the garage and the two spare bedrooms are on the other side. But they also love the openness between the kitchen and great room. Everyone can envision this space as, as a space they can entertain and they can also have their family enjoy this every day. I noticed that a lot of the selections that you have in this home would be considered upgrades in other plans. Correct, they normally are. The hardwood floors, the tile backsplash, the granite top, the fireplace with the stone and tile surround, those are a lot of standards for us that are normally upgrades most other places. So we're in the beautiful Jackson model right now, but you have lots of different floor plans for people to choose from. We do. We, uh, we have plenty of floor plans to choose from, but we also have the capability to modify our plans to whatever people desire, as well as taking their plans from scratch and building them to fit their needs. How do you choose the different floor plans that you offer in this development? Uh, we listen to our buyers. We listen to our buyers and we find out what they want and we just continually modify our floor plans to, to really meet their needs. And this is a really nice development. I noticed when I was driving in, I was trying to figure out, okay, is this a craftsman style neighborhood? You know, what exactly is it? And every house was different. It is, and that's what we're going for. We do not want it to look similar. Many of these plans are different, but there are similarities. We try to mix up the brick, the stone, the hardy siding. We just want to make it look and feel different. We want it to make it and look and feel like a neighborhood. What are the square footage requirements of this home? Most of the homes we build in here on the low side would be 1,500. Uh, most of the homes we build now though are 1,700 and above. And your price range? Uh, usually from the low 300s to the mid 400s. That's a really nice family price. It is, especially for what you what you get. We have three car side entry garages, front porches, finished basements. Uh, it's really what everybody wants. And it was really easy to get here from the interstate too. It is. It's very convenient, especially with the new bridges. So if someone were interested in these plans, do you have open houses or anything where they can come out and take a look at the home? Yes, every Sunday, two to four, and then they can always call us or one of our realtors and they can get in any time they want. Michael, what are some of the features that you guys put in every single home that people don't necessarily see when they drive up to it? Oh, we care about our granite tops, our hardwood floors, but we really care about what's behind the walls. That's, where our, our, that's why our homes feature Tyvek house wrap and foam insulation. They both increase the efficiency of the home and add to the overall comfort of the home. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Michael. We really appreciate it. Sure. Thanks for having us. We'll be back in just a moment, and you'll learn more about this home from Leah Armfield with Ferguson.